painting arranger for one of the games that I'm running. So, you know, just chill out. I like the first base coat because you can paint it like your five. And you will probably hear my dogs in the background because they like attention too. At this phase, I don't care about getting colors where they shouldn't go because you can just paint over them. So I do kind of the big stuff first and then I worry about fixing it later. So you just kind of want your base coverage in there. I'm going to switch to a smaller brush to get into the smaller area. This one will do. And I'm not mixing on my palette right now just because for base paints I tend to use those straight out of the pot so that they're thick and pigmented so I get good coverage. I don't have a tripod set up so the camera's in an awkward place that I have to work around. So forgive the weird way that I have to hold and paint right now. some stuff here. Here we go. Just trying to get this under bit. And again, I'm not going to worry about getting it on the armor because I will paint that over. So this is fine. This cloak has some pretty extreme nooks, which will look really good when it's highlighted. For right now, it just makes it difficult. But it's not the worst one I've dealt with. So 
The only thing that's kind of troublesome about pre-assembled minis is a lot of times there are areas that you would have painted before you put them together because they become really hard to reach. And my last model I painted had an area like that where there was a shield that blocked a lot of area. And so it was really hard to get to those places to paint well. But the good thing is was it was behind the shield, so couldn't tell too too much. Even smaller brush for this next little spot. I'm gonna move him, dry him off a little bit. The brush was a little too wet there. You're not gonna have perfect coverage with the first coat. I usually do at least two layers of the base. Move the mini. Get to that area back there. Probably go back to a bigger brush for this part. Make my life easier. This one. First layer for the cloak is done. Now for, he's got really detailed boots, gloves, and quiver. So I'm going to put those all in a kind of warm tone brown because I think that'll look good and again this is the base layer so everything's gonna look scoty but see the cool detail it's on the side with the way that the boots and his sleeves and his quiver kind of lace together that'll be really fun to highlight and paint later for now, I'm going to cover them up. Turn down the light a little bit for you guys.
So when people are starting out and they ask me what colors they should get, I always recommend getting like two different kinds of brown. Because I feel like all minis, especially fantasy minis, have leather and wood as part of their design. And you want to differentiate those because you'll notice the bow here passes right in front of the boot. And then the arrows stick out of the quiver. So we don't want those all to be the same color. So that would be sad. But our ranger here is going to be green and brown primarily. Foresty colors. He's a wood elf. And then I did ask the player that this is for if he had a preference on the tunic color, but I haven't heard back yet. I'm gonna switch to a smaller brush to get some of these smaller areas. Tell it's early because I almost dipped my brush in my coffee, but I think that is an expected part of the process. If you haven't dipped a paintbrush in whatever you're drinking, I don't think you've really been painting yet. Just painting his little bracer. So on one side he has a bracer. And on the other side, he has like a full sleeve leather armor. For people who are actually archers, you can see that that's really backwards. You want the arm guard on the bow side, but I didn't make this sculpt, so it's fine. All right, I can't paint the other sleeve yet because that green stuff that you see on the hand right here is still drying. So we're gonna call it good for now. And I'm going to let this dry for a little bit before I start manipulating it more to get to the other areas. So I hope that was a little relaxing. Maybe watch it on your train commute or, you know, while you're drinking your own coffee and trying to wake up. So have a great time. I'll see you in a little bit.